I hope you brought your dancing shoes and your snorkel gear, because on our final Hawaiian episode of Aimlessly Wandering, we're heading to Old Lahaina Luau and off on a snorkeling adventure. Get ready to swim with some fishes and turtles and learn how to luau. Episode 12 starts now. You can't come to Hawaii without experiencing an authentic luau. Tonight, we're at the Old Lahaina Luau. The Old Lahaina Luau was voted Maui's best luau and is not to be missed. Welcome, bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Aloha, mahalo. After being received with traditional Hawaiian lays, we started out by exploring the beautiful oceanside grounds, checking out the various artists selling their crafts, and following the oceanside for some photographs. Then we sat down and settled in for what would become an amazing night celebrating my parents' anniversary and learning some Hawaiian dance moves. I um, means to get low, so drop it, drop it low now, drop it, drop it low. You guys know that song. You guys know that song. Absolutely not. <laughs> Matt aka the bodyguard, was not feeling the dance moves, and neither was my stepdad. But it was interesting learning some luau basics and watching the pre-show dancers entertain us. Not only did we get a great show and an open bar, we were also treated to an amazing five-course meal consisting of traditional Hawaiian food. I never knew that I'd enjoy eating taro, let alone how purple it looked in food, especially only after learning about it the day before on the road to Hana. Here's just a sample of what the main course consisted of. Let's start off with the beef. The beef is gonna be a grilled flat iron steak with a mushroom demi glaze. Left of it, pan seared mahi mahi with a lemon garlic aioli. The chicken is a barbecue marinated chicken with a mango puli. You got two sides. You got roasted vegetables. You have kabocha squash rainbow carrot, and then Molokai purple sweet potato mash with coconut. All right, aloha again. Welcome to the old Lahaina Luau. My name is Mahakoa. And this is Kapili, and we're here to share with you folks a little bit more about the Hawaiian ancestors. Now, the Hawaiian people lived on these islands for thousands of years, and they survived by living off the land and using the limited resources they had here on these tiny islands. Now, one of their greatest achievements was creating the Ahu Pua'a system. I hope Pili might repeat after me say Ahu. Ahu. Pua'a. Pua'a. Now, let's put those two words together Ahu Pua'a. Ahu Pua'a. Good job. Now the Ahupua'a system is how the Hawaiian people divided the land. It is also a land division that runs from the mountain down to the sea. This system taught the Hawaiian people that kuleana, or responsibility, is the only way for them to survive. For us, learning about the rich history and traditions of the Hawaiian people was probably one of the most interesting parts of the trip. The old Lahaina Luau did a fantastic job of teaching us more about the customs and stories of Hawaii, including the traditional luau dance. Once the sun set, the show began. Here are just a few highlights from the evening's performance. After an unforgettable evening, it was on to another memorable part of the trip. Today, we're going snorkeling, and I couldn't be more excited. I hadn't been snorkeling since I was a kid, and knowing how beautiful the coral reefs of Hawaii were, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to get into the ocean and explore. 
Unfortunately, Matt couldn't join in on the fun, as United changed his flight to leave a day earlier than expected. And despite not originally wanting to join for fears of open waters, Adrian was brave enough to come along for what she thought would be just a lazy sun-filled boat ride. Out of all the snorkeling companies I researched, I opted to go with the Pacific Whale Foundation's snorkel tour, as the proceeds from the tour go back into protecting Hawaii's coral reefs, whales, and other oceanic research. The trip was a five-hour excursion that departed at 7 a.m. from the Lahaina Harbor en route to Honolulu Bay and Slaughterhouse Beach. I didn't even think about the potential for seeing dolphins, but we were pleasantly surprised when a family of spinner dolphins decided to show up and ride along our ship's wake for part of the trip up to the bay. Our first stop was Hanalua Bay. We'll let Captain Chris tell you a little bit more about why he likes it here. Super cool spot, really like it. Also, just like we said, there's turtles out here, okay? Turtles are known as honu in Hawaiian, Hawaiian language. Not allowed to ride them or kick them or lick them or touch. Hi there, hi mom. House looks cool. Um, you're not allowed to touch, leave the turtles alone. Boy, squirrel, yeah, squirrel. And with that, it was time to jump in. I was so proud of Adrienne for overcoming her fear and for being brave enough to take Pack Whale up on some basic snorkeling lessons. All right, we're going in. I had never snorkeled in water so blue before, nor had I ever filmed underwater before, but hopefully these clips give you a taste of what our underwater adventures were like. The bay was filled with schools of fish, coral reefs, sea urchins, and apparently octopuses, though sadly I didn't see any of those on our dive. But being surrounded by clear blue salt water and various sea creatures was certainly something I'll dream about for years to come. On our first dive, Adrian got used to the basics of snorkeling and was reassured knowing that there were three lifeguards on duty at all times. And as she got more used to being in the water, she built up more confidence. By the time we headed to our second dive spot, she was ready to ditch the boogie board and join me. Our next stop was Maui's famous Slaughterhouse Beach, and it turned out to be my favorite dive of the day. These reefs were situated by a small waterfall and consisted of many more urchins and fishes. And for some reason, the water just seemed bluer here than at the previous bay. But perhaps my eyes were also just playing tricks on me.
After only a few minutes of being in the water, and with Adrian by my side, the universe presented us with not one, but two sea turtles who decided to swim along with us. It was truly an unreal experience, and while my GoPro was extended out as far as it could be, we were still sure to keep our distance to let our new friend lead the way. If you look close enough, you can see another turtle chilling on the reef, though that one was actually a bit shy. Did I think I would get so close to a sea turtle, let alone swim beside one. And while the entire trip to Hawaii was memorable, this was probably the number one highlight of the trip. Just before we were getting ready to leave, a smaller, younger turtle even popped up to say hello. After a fantastic barbecue lunch, Captain Chris hoisted the mainsail, and we spent the next hour and a bit following the Hawaiian breeze listening to yacht rock music as we made our way back to the harbor. I may have also fallen asleep. As we neared the harbor and got closer to our hotel, our snorkeling adventure and our trip to Hawaii came to an end. It was probably one of my most favorite trips as an adult, and one I would certainly cherish forever. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for Aimlessly Wandering in Hawaii. We've had such a great trip. We did the road to Hana, we saw some waterfalls, we checked out some amazing beaches, and of course, we swam and snorkeled. You never know when we're gonna aimlessly wander off to next, so be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and alert button so that you can get notified whenever we travel because you get videos that end up like this.